Mustafa Khoshesh, journalist and commentator, joins us. Uh, at the heart of uh, what uh, Adi Shampani has said is the fact that uh, the presence of U.S. forces and some of their actions, the, one of the worst being the assassination of uh, uh, the Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, has fueled insecurity and instability in the region. And uh, the only solution really uh, is for the U.S. to leave. Do you think if that happens or when that happens, that uh, that will indeed uh, calm the region down? Hello, thanks for having me. Well, uh, I don't see any reason why. Of course, the United States bullying and its foreign policy uh, uh, doesn't show us a very promising path, uh, but they uh, they uh, want to, uh, you know, uh, complete their hegemonic rule over this region in order to rush to East Asia to start a tough combat and confrontation against the Chinese as their main economic rival in the next decade. But ever since the U.S. has been deployed in this region uh, several decades ago when they started their uh, SANTCOM in this region, uh, they have started insecurity and they've been a major factor contributing to uh, regional tensions among the regional nations and uh, regional stability, instability, uh, especially after, uh, the, as Pentagon documents show, they intended to enforce regime change in seven nations, including Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, Sudan, and Somalia in five years. And they could do a lot to all these other nations through direct combat and invasion. Uh, or their proxy forces and their allies, European allies, and proxy forces such as uh, the ISIL and Al Qaeda, as documents have revealed, and uh, as uh, they've made confessions. I mean, in Washington, former and present officials have made many comments and many confessions showing that they've been involved in this, uh, uh, you know, rise of uh, militants in this region. But they failed in Iran, and they intensified their efforts in order to combat. Iran's regional power to contain Iran's power and also to undermine uh, the resistant front, the regional nations that want to, uh, you know, uh, have their own faith and agenda in their own hands. But the United States insists on, you know, fracturing these nations, decomposing them as they showed their plans, true, their true plans in Syria, in Iraq and elsewhere, in Sudan. Uh, they all show that their greater Middle East plan means decomposition of the regional nations and they want friction and war among these nations in order to wear off their potentials and capabilities. So they still pursue their plans, but they are facing now a rising awareness among the regional nations. They have a tough job ahead. No matter what they want, 